They tell us privacy is dangerous. It's for criminals. If you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. If you have something that you don't want anyone to know, maybe you shouldn't be doing it in the first place. We're told that privacy is dead. Privacy is already in the intensive care ward. In five years time, it will be dead. I think privacy is dead. Nobody gives a fuck. There's only one problem with these arguments. They're not true. So why do so many of us believe them? How come when we think about privacy, we think about somebody with something to hide? Why is privacy so controversial? To better understand the complicated story of privacy, we've spent the last year researching hundreds of articles, books, and videos. We found that when you peel back the layers of misinformation and scare tactics, privacy isn't dangerous and it isn't dead. It's necessary. It's essential for our mental health, for our freedom of expression, to protect us from abuses of power, to protect us from criminals, to create a fairer economy. So to share with you what we've learned about privacy, why it's important, and what a future with privacy could look like, we've brought all of our research to life in a series of videos packed with straightforward explanations, stories, animation, and expert interviews. Republicans and Democrats actually united to advocate for privacy. If we get rid of cash, it's gonna leave us extremely vulnerable. The word privacy does not exist in the US Constitution. The web has a huge problem we need to fix. Our first video comes out on June 30th. Subscribe to our channel and join us as we speak up for privacy.